Hey guys, how's it going? Bane here. Um, bringing you a little TDM just for the lulls. Um, I think I'm using an M4, first game of the day. Having some fun, as much fun as you can have on this game. I have to admit, like really, it gets so annoying sometimes. I don't know why, it's just like, uh... Well, I do know why, it's just so annoying. Like, even if you sit back like this, you still get taken out so quickly, and... I don't even exactly have, like, the fastest connection or the best connection, so... Even with the leg compensation... You know what? I think, actually, the leg compensation probably makes it more difficult for me. Even though I do have a lower connection, just because... Sometimes... It's just not consistent. That's the thing. It's not consistent. You can't really rely on yourself getting the kill. Sometimes people will take two or three bullets. Other times, they'll take a ridiculous amount, and you're like, what the hell just happened? Better <laughs> put an entire clip into you, huh? Anyway, basically on, uh, what map is this? Arkadin? Yes, so this is Arkadin. Um, basically the power positions are of the top class, so where I am right now. Um, basically the key part of this map, not really on TDM, on CTF and, like, game modes like that, it's really key, but on this I'm just pretty much playing the standard TDM role, uh, looking where my teammates are, figuring out where they're going to be coming from, um, and if the enemy kind of walks into your crosshairs, so the better. So I'm using a silencer and assassin, so I'm not exactly playing very aggressive. I do apologize for the slowness, but that's how you get good gameplay nowadays. That guy goes, beasts on me. He based it on me. I couldn't do anything. It's completely annihilated me with a shotgun, but whatever, dude. But uh, other than that, been doing pretty well. Um, started a new semester at school. Um, been working a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, hopefully I'll get a little bit more time during the summer, take some time, kind of post a few more videos, but stay la vie, that's just the way it is. Um, not really much else you can do about that. But, other than that, yeah, kind of doing my thing. Um, one thing that people should really, really do is, like, not play so stupidly. Like, I, I, I noticed in this gameplay especially, like, the players that I was against, they were lower level. Um, you can't really rely on that anymore, just because the 10th Prestiges are now resetting themselves. So, I guess the lower level doesn't really mean much, but... These guys, obviously, really did not know what they were doing. Um, they were running around corners, they were, uh, kind of... There, there was, like, a pause in between when they, when they should have reacted. I think you get a triple spray here. I think just done. I think there's three people here. Yeah, one, two, three. Yay! The single clip, too. Don't I feel special? Get a predator. Blah, blah, blah. You've seen it on level four. Same diff. Boom. Shaka laka laka. One movie that everyone should really watch is Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> no. Actually, probably the best movie I've ever watched. Um, Swordfish was quite good. Fight Club was really interesting. Fight Club was. It was thought provoking. I, I really do like movies when they make it so that you actually have to think and. The twists and turns are just, like, awesome. Like, video games don't do that as much as the movies, I find. Um, there have been a couple games... This guy's hiding in a corner, I don't know why. Um, there have been a couple games, like, for instance, what kind of... I know Bioshock. Bioshock had an awesome twist. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't played it. Um, but it's just a ridiculous twist about mid-game. And I was just like, oh my god. It's, like, so obvious. It's so awesome. And it's so clever. And, uh... Like, it's just one of those things that I was really, really impressed with, because that, that's good storyline, that's that's good storytelling, really, and that's what makes a single-player game, anyway, so good. Um, I'm, I'm not really... I, I enjoy multiplayer games, I really like COD, I don't really know why to tell you the truth, I think it's just addictive, and I enjoy that. But um, I'm mostly single-player, like, actually enjoying myself, playing in the difficulties, playing on hard, playing on nightmare, stuff like that. It's fun, it's fun for me. But, um, yeah, games like Bioshock, what else was there? Um, not a lot of, bah, was it, shoot, sorry guys. I think it was Two Worlds. I think there was actually a twist. Oh, yes, the first Two Worlds. Um, so many people have given it bad reviews. Um, like, I think it got, like, a 4 out of 10 or something, or a 3 out of 10 on, uh, on GameStop. And I, I personally love the game. I, I personally just, I found it so good. I found it to be so fun. And it was just, you could kind of personalize your character, and, like, I know the, the, the battle system, or the, the fighting system was pretty terrible, to tell you the truth, but you kind of got used to it, you kind of enjoyed it, um, I, I, can't, I can't believe I didn't see that guy, I eventually catch, I kind of figure out that he's there, but he's kind of in that plant, and 
the I think he must be using assassin or something because the the auto aim isn't. Yeah, I should have seen him there too. I'm like, wait, where did he go? <laughs> anyway, um, Bioshock Two Worlds. What's another game? You know, what? I'm not even sure. But th that's that's good storytelling. That's that's really what you should be aiming for as a game developer. You should be aiming for just making the the storyline just impressive and be very thought provoking and like that's really what what sells great movies like Fight Club, really really successful movie. Um, and again, like not all successful movies or not all thought provoking movies are really really popular. Like actually, one movie that I saw recently, it's called Seven with a uh, seven as a the uh, the V, like a, like as in lead speak, and uh, like in it, basically the uh, the character is basically actually Brad Pitt and uh, Samuel L. Jackson, I think. Um, basically, they're they're two cops. Um, Samuel L. Jackson is kind of the uh, the 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 veteran. Um, Brad Pitt's more of the rookie, and he's kind of learning. The, well, not really learning the ropes. He has he's kind of done a few things, but he's not really gone through as much as uh, Samuel Jackson. Anyway, that character basically, um, what happens in the end, I don't want to spoil this. You are warned, there's spoilers. I'm going to actually spoil the end for seven. I don't know if people have probably heard of it or even seen it. But basically, at the very end, this, they're, they're trying to catch her this, uh, this killer who's uh, going through and killing people. His third killer. Um, and he's doing it in, in different ways, uh, very imaginative ways. Like he kills a really fat guy. He kills a uh, a whore, not really a whore. I don't know, a very loose woman. Um, what was the third person he killed? I can't remember who was the third person we killed. Anyway, um, basically at the very end, they or not the very end. Basically, about the middle-ish, maybe almost toward the end, they actually catch him. He basically just walks up and says, um, "I killed these people. Um, arrest me." And it's really interesting. He starts talking to the two detectives, and he's saying, "You never would have caught me if I hadn't given myself up." Um, he basically has no name. He has no. He has no kind of record. He's this complete blank slate. And uh, basically, he, he says, "You never would have caught me." Um, what I'm doing is for God. What I'm doing is right. I, I killed this this like excessive man. I killed this excessive woman, like, it's just, our society is, like, corrupt, and these are just the, the worst cases, and I'm certain sh just showing people the light, and kind of showing them, um, just really how bad things are, and people should change, and to a certain extent, like, it's the, the Samuel L. Jackson character is kind of like you, like, the, the actual viewer, and he's kind of like, it's partially true, he... He partially agrees. Like, the, like there's actually common sense there. People can see that there is something corrupt. There is something wrong with this society. And basically, I, I won't kind of. I don't really want to spoil the end. End. Um, I've already spoiled enough. Screw it. I'm just gonna do it. Um, at the very, very end, what happens is that Brad Pitt, the character Brad Pitt, um, basically he has a wife, and the the murderer before he got caught, he basically gave specific instructions to basically kidnap and then kill his wife. And he wants the Brad Pitt character to kill him and basically make him a martyr to um, basically corrupt him. Um, which is really interesting. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of came to the end of this gameplay. Um, I don't even know what my score was. 31-6, something like that. Uh, pretty good game. I'll see y'all later. Bye.